Hey guys, hi, welcome back. So in the last video, we have discussed uh, the theory of the shell model. We have seen some tricks and those tricks we will be using. Those theories will be used in this video to solve the problems. So let's start the first question. <clears throat> it says that the angular momentum and parity of oxygen 17, 8 nucleus according to it, the nuclear shell model is. So you have to say the angular momentum and the parity of this nucleus okay according to the shell model and including the spin orbit interaction we need to find the momentum and the parity so for this we will see the number of protons and the number of neutrons first so if you see here the number of proton it is eight here and the number of neutron n it is a minus z so here the mass number is 17 the proton number is eight so the number of neutron is what nine so if you see here this is even so it is neglected all right because we already know for even terms now for even number of protons and neutrons they are not contributing to find the momentum parity right so this will be neglected and we will be writing the energy levels only for this number of neutrons nine so we can write as one as one by two here we can fill maximum two then we are having what one p three by two here we can fill maximum four then we are having 1p 1 by 2 here we can fill maximum 2 so it is 2 and 4 is what 6 8 so one more we will do here 1d 5 by 2 so we can fill here 1 because maximum we can fill 6 but we will fill 1 because already 8 are filled only 1 is required right so you can see the last unpaired one is what this one so here if you see the value of j is how much 5 by 2 and the value of L will be how much? It is SPDF. So for D, we know that the value of L is 2. Right? So this is the value of J. This is the value of L. Now we will find the spin parity. All right? So for this, we know for parity, what we know, the formula for parity is minus 1 to the power L. So minus 1 to the power L. L is here 2. So it's whole square. So the parity is what? one so we can write here therefore spin parity of ground state all right spin parity of ground state is five by two right this is the spin parity is positive all right so your answer is five by two positive this is option d clear now let's see the next question the nucleus 41 calcium here 20 will be there can be described by the single particle shell model this nucleus it can be described by the single particle shell model so the single particle states occupied that the last proton and the last neutron respectively are given by so this is not uh, very complicated we have to just say that the single particle states which is occupied by the last proton and the last neutron so first let's check the number of protons and the number of neutrons so if you see here z is equals to how much 20 number of neutron is 41 minus 20 that is 21 now we will write the states so if you see here we can write what s 1 s half then we can write 1 p 3 by 2 1 p 1 by 2 right so here we can fill 2 here we can fill maximum 4 here we can fill 2 again we can write 1 d 5 by 2 we write s p p d again we write what s yes or no so this time it is 2 s 1 by 2 we can fill here 2 maximum so if you count 2 4 6 7 8 8 in here 6 it is how many total 16 but we need how much 4 more so we will write the last one that is 1 d 3 by 2 so here we will fill 2 because 2 are left so total 20 we need to fill Sorry, it will be 4. Here we will fill 4 because 16 were there. Let's see. 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 plus 6 is 14. 14 plus 2 is 16. 16 plus 4 is 20. All right. So this is done. Now you see in the last one, maximum 4 can be filled. Right. So the energy states, this states can will be same up to here. Yes or no? This will be same. I'm not writing it again. But we have to write 21 now total. So if you see here for neutron, okay, this is for neutron, I will write one more. So after this, we are getting what? We can write here 1F7 by 2. 
in here we can fill total eight numbers but here we need how many only one so i'm writing here one so this is the last one for the number of neutrons this is the last one for the number of protons this one you can write it yourself okay so if you see here in case of proton the last state single particle state occupied by the last proton is four proton it is and four neutron it is f7 by 2 clear so the states are d3 by 2 and d7 by 2 so if you see here the last option option d is the correct option all right it is d3 by 2 and f7 by 2 so this is the thing that you need to remember the states all right and if you don't know the state you can see lecture 2 where i have written uh, when i have explained about the trick now let's see the next question the ground state angular momentum and parity for this nuclear are so we have just found the ground state parity and angular momentum so first we will check the number of protons and neutrons proton number is 20 it's even so it will be neglected we will see the number of neutrons 41 minus 20 which is 21 so this is odd we will write only for this the energy states so we can write as what 1s 1 by 2 1p 3 by 2 1p 1 by 2 right again what we write it is spp then it comes d 1d 5 by 2 again it comes 2s 1 by 2 right again it is 1d 3 by 2 in the last question we have done again we are having 1f 7 by 2 so we knew that here we can fill how many 2 here we can fill 4 2 6 again 2 Here you can feel how many four. So it was how much total six, seven, eight. It is still here eighteen, twenty. So one will be filled here. So the last one pad is this one. So here if you see J is equals to how much seven by two, right? And the value of L will be equals to what? We know for S we can write. We used to write like this now S P D F. So zero, one, two, three. This way we can remember. So here if you see the value of L for F is what? Three. So here we can write L is equal to what three. So we know the parity formula. Parity formula was minus one to the power L. So it is minus one to the power three. That means minus one. So we can write the spin parity of ground state. I'm writing here spin parity of ground state. It is how much? J is seven by two. This is the spin parity. Will be how much? Minus, all right, because it is minus one. So seven by two minus. So the correct option is option A. Clear? Just you have to see the number of protons and the number of neutrons. Now let's come to the next question. According to the shell model, the ground state of this one. So this time we will find the ground state of oxygen. So if you see here, this time Z is equals to eight again. So that's even. It will be not neglected. we will see for what n n will be what 15 minus 8 that means 7 so this is odd so for this if you write the energy levels how you write s p p d f pani puri i have said in the last video you can just check so it will be how much this is 1 s 1 by 2 maximum 2 can be filled 1 p it is having two values of j the greater one is written so here we can fill 4 it is 1 by 2 Here we can fill maximum two, but it is four plus two six. Here the number of neutron is seven, so only one will be filled here. These are not required. Okay, so you can see the last unpaired one is this one. It is one p one by two. So the value of j here is how much? One by two. And for p, the value of l is equals to what? One. So from here we will find the parity first, right? So the parity is what? In this case, parity is minus one to the power l. That is minus one to the power n, which means the parity is minus one. So you can write what ground speed, ground state spin parity. So we write here ground state spin parity. It is how much? One by two negative. This is the spin. This is the parity. All right. So your correct option is option D. Clear? You can see. Only the number states we need to remember. 
let's see the next question the four possible configurations of neutrons in the ground state of this nucleus according to the shell model and the associated nucleus spin are listed below so here the four possible configurations of neutrons in the ground state and we have four options we have to show this is very simple so first we will see the number of protons and the number of neutrons number of protons is four that is even so it's neglected the number of neutrons and it is equals to what nine minus four five so this is odd all right now we will see what we will see the energy states so how we write s one s one by two so it is how much two are filled s again then we have p and here it was three by two so total it's two so we can fill here four maximum but we will fill three because here number of neutron is five all right so the unpaired one is having the value of j is equals to how much 3 by 2 we know the parity parity is equals to minus 1 to the power l so for p we have already seen the value of uh, l for p is what 1 so it is minus 1 to the power 1 yes or no so you can see here it will be how much negative so you see here without finding the parity also you can see because the value of j is given to you parity is not required directly you can see the value of j is what 3 by 2 and the states are 1s 1 by 2 and 1p 3 by 2 so if you see the four options i have just seen so near the parity sometimes it might be asked okay so if the parity is given then there was must be 3 by 2 negative just check it out that way but uh, for the timing you can see here j is equals to 3 by 2 so first check out of the four options j is equals to 3 by 2 only for the option a and b so these two options are omitted now the states are what 1s 1 by 2 so you can see 1s 1 by 2 is in both the options again 1p 3 by 2 it is in this it is having 3 total right so what you will see here it is 3 total here and here it is one more is there so your correct option will be option a clear so this is how you can calculate the correct spin parity just looking at the number of protons and the number of neutrons so this is how you can calculate the number of proton and the number of uh, neutrons all right and according to the shell model you can see the spin and parity so that's all in this video thank you so much have a good day